Hello, my darlings, it's Dion Dean. Welcome back to another video. I actually do have a thrift haul that I need to get done for you guys. I actually went out on Friday, last Friday, because I knew that something was a brewing and I knew they were gonna be shutting down stuff and so I didn't wanna be left in the lurch with no merchandise to list. So I do have a thrift haul um, ready for you guys. I need to film it. I have the stuff, but I haven't filmed it. But I'm gonna be honest and say I'm just not in the mindset. <laughs> I'm not in the mindset to list or even think about business right now. Um, my anxiety, like the rest of the world, I'm just on edge. And so for me, playing in my closet and doing videos of me playing in my closet is what I want to do. So please be patient with me. Probably tomorrow or Thursday, I'll be able to kind of go through and just think about my business. But right now, I just need to like get centered and not think about that or anything or business or what's going to happen in business. I trust God. Okay, we trust God. But for right now... I just want to play in my closet. And so if I'm going to play in my closet, I'm bringing you guys with me. I'm going to be showing you today another video that I promised on how to style a house dress. How to style a burlita's house dresses, darling. I love a house dress. I love a colorful house dress. I feel like the prints and the patterns are bar none. You're not going to find them anywhere else. And so whenever I am in these thrift streets, I look for house dresses. So I'm going to show you exactly how I wear them. Um, I'm pulling out four of my favorites. I have about a dozen house dresses, but I'm pulling out four of my favorites just to show you how I style them um, in hopes that you will do the same over the summer months when you find some, or even now when you find some house dresses, just give you some ideas on how to wear them. All right. So let's get in here and play. Okay, my loves. So here is the first house dress. And let me give you a disclaimer. Both my husband and Riley are home. So you're going to have, you're going to hear laughs and giggles and everything in between and Doc McStuffins, all that good stuff. Okay, so if you hear them in the background, just please offer me some grace. All right. So this is one of my favorite um, house dresses. I think I purchased this last year, either, either last year or the summer before. I'm going to say this is Salvation Army. That's what I'm going to say. So one of my rules when it comes to um, wearing a house dress, especially when it has large prints like this or de just dependent on the feel, I like to pair vintage with vintage. To me, this is very South Florida. This is very Miami. And so I have paired it. Actually, I put on one shoe and didn't feel like putting on the other one. Don't judge me, okay? It is what it is. I wear this with my Louboutin, my Louboutin um sandals so you guys can see the red bottom there um and i do that just because i have the blue but it has a, a kick of color with the red here so the kick of color kind of matches the house dress so as i was saying i like to pair vintage with vintage um this is something that i would go to a networking event or could be brunch with the girls i like to I, w I like to wear something long when i'm out with the girls just because i like when i walk in somewhere that the wind is flowing with me. And so um, this is something that I would wear to like a networking event or maybe a cocktail kind of event. Um, I like to go to a lot of fashion events in South Florida. As you guys have seen, we have a lot. There's probably one for every day of the week if you wanna get out and go somewhere. They're happening every day, whether it's West Palm, Fort Lauderdale or in Miami. So this is something that I would wear to one of those events. Um, yeah, these Louboutins, Louboutins are not known to be comfortable, but these are because they, um, of course, have a wedge and they're a little bit thicker. And I got these from the real world. So this is just one of the looks. Let's get on to another one. All right. So here is another dress. This is probably a traditional house dress. And so again, vintage bag and then cute little shoes. So this is another way. This is very casual. This is very like going to Fort Lauderdale Beach, not thinking too much. Um, date night with the husband on a Friday night. And it's like I said, it's one of the more traditional um, ways to wear a house dress for me anyway. I'm picking up the colors in the dress with the bag. You can wear... You can wear whatever bag you want to wear, right? But for me, I want the dress. Yes, Riley. You hear her calling me. Um, I want the dress to match the vibe. And so this to me is just very playful and very colorful. And I'm not thinking too much about it. And so, yeah. This is another one. More traditional. Cute little shoes. 
Okay, so my baby is literally waiting outside the door for me, so I'm not going to be long, my baby. All right, so truth be told, I get the most compliments on my outfits when I wear my long caftans, when I wear my long house dresses. This I got last year, Salvation Army, and I've worn it a few times, and every time I wear it, it's a page turner. Um, I get so many compliments on it. I get people asking me where I got it, and when I tell them I got it at the thrift store, can you see the neck? When I tell them that I want it, that I got it at the thrift store, they're just like in awe. Um, it is vintage. I like to pair it with um, this bag. It's probably one of my oldest thrifted bags. I've had this probably 10, 15 years. I'm not sure. I got this in Miami, Goodwill in Doral when I was working at FIU as an advisor. I would go there at lunch. Um, <laughs> and so this is like one of my favorite bags. And so I wear it with this either on the shoulder. I like to wear it as a clutch. Even if I wear it as a clutch, I like to keep the, um, the, uh, the chain down um, instead of on my shoulder. I just like the way it looks. But um, this is one of my favorites. I love a long caftan. I think I think it's glamorous. I think it moves with you. And here in South Florida, when you're walking, darling, and you're walking into the restaurant and you know, you just have this long kind of look behind you, right? You have all this fabric behind you. Um, I think it just, I think it's just glamorous. And so, yeah, this is one of my favorites. If you see something in this style, um, again, you know, when I'm getting dressed, I'm not thinking about my size. Um, to me, I just, I, I feel like I look beautiful and elegant and regal. And so for me, it is oversized and you can't really, you can tell like, well, you always can tell I got boobs, honey. Um, but I just like the overall look. And to me, this looks royal. It looks regal. And when I wear it, I give off that vibe. You know, a lot of it, a lot of confidence, a lot of what you wear and how you wear it. Um, and how people perceive it is how you carry it off. That's why I always tell people, you can wear whatever you have the confidence to wear. So this is one of my faves. I'm going to now show you my very favorite caftan. I don't think I've ever shown it on social media or on YouTube, but I think when I got it, I didn't um, do put it in the hall because it's like sacred to me, but I'm gonna show it to you today. Are you ready? All right, so here is another dress. I believe I got this at Salvation Army. As always, I feel like Salvation Army all across the nation <laughs> is where I get most of my um, house dresses. Um, no, I get a good bunch of good ones as well. Okay, so I'm learning a trend with me. As I play in my closet, I get to learn more about myself and ask myself why I like what I like. So I think the reason why I like wearing clutches is because I like the dress to speak. And so most of my clutches, I don't know, I feel not even the dress to speak. I feel like this is vintage, the dress is older, and I feel like they both have stories. But when I wear a clutch and nothing's over my shoulder, I can see most of most of the, if you agree, most of the um, the house dresses that I've shown you have had some sort of floral pattern or something and I don't want the purse to take away from the dress and so I think that's why I love wearing clutches because I'm like why do I for the most part I wear clutches with my house dresses um and I think that that is the case is I don't want it I don't want the um move my hair I don't want the um the uh it's a lot of hair y'all I don't want the um the bag to take away from the dress because I think the dress in itself is such a a beautiful piece um, and moves me in such a way that I just want to show it off. And so as you can see with the shoulder with the colorful design and then the ruffle at the bottom or peplum, whatever you want to call it, um, I just want to show off the dress. I'm not really interested. Like in the in past videos, I've talked about having a statement bag and letting the bag speak. With my house dresses, I want the dress to speak. That's what I'm trying to say. Long way of saying I want the dress to speak. And so with my accessories, whether it be the shoes or the handbags, because I rarely wear jewelry when I'm wearing um, a house dress, and I'm rarely wearing like a big statement bag, um, I want the dress to speak. So you just have to decide for yourself. Um, if you want the bag to speak, the dress to speak, the shoes to speak, what do you want the focal point of your outfit to be? Make sense? All right. Okay. So I'm showing you my favorite piece. I got this at Goodwill. 
in Hollywood, I think about a year ago, and I have not worn it. It's it's just been in the back of my closet. It's my favorite, probably one of my favorite pieces in my entire wardrobe, other than like one of the capes that I that I have never really brought out either. Only worn it once. I love this dress, this caftan. I just that I we're supposed to be going well my girlfriend invited me you know I have to fight my fears of leaving my baby and my husband but my husband my best friend invited me to Thailand in June and I said okay God <laughs> if I can fight my fears and get on that plane to go to Thailand because you know I don't like to be away from my husband and my baby for those of you that don't know um it gives me anxiety um but um oh this piece of hair is going on here um I will wear this. You will see this on the beaches of Phuket. When she said Thailand, I immediately saw myself in this dress walking along the um, beach or the, um, what do you call it? The cabana. I just, I saw it. I just feel like this is the most beautiful colorways. It's just... It's magical. Like, I literally can just sit and look at it. There are times when I look at it in my closet, I just look at it. I think everything about it is amazing and it's unmatched. This is my favorite item in my closet. I haven't shared this with anybody. YouTube exclusive, but, um, isn't it gorgeous? Let me just pan down one more time. And so I keep on saying I'm gonna wear this to brunch one day but I feel like the whole entire restaurant would be slayed in the spirit. Like this is, this is brunch at the Conrad. This is not just any reg regular brunch, darlings. This is the Conrad. This is the Ritz, this is the W, this is the Conrad. <sighs> this is me and JLo and AWOD. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing to the meeting with JLo when she hires me to do her costume design for her biopic. That's what this is. I think that's what I'm waiting for. That's what this is, this is that's what this is for. That's, this is the JLo dress. This is the JLo meeting dress, okay? <laughs> all right my darlings so that was the video on house dresses i hope that you got to learn a little bit about how i wear my house dresses why i wear my house dresses this is something that's kind of individual to me there were other individuals out there that i know wear vintage house dresses and to be totally honest Hey, the spring on the runway, spring and summer runway shows that came out last fall um, or last year. Yeah, last fall when the shows were um, were coming out, there were a lot of vintage pieces out there. So, you know, I'm setting trends, darling. We're setting trends as thrifters. And so as per usual, I want to encourage you to play in your closet, to not give a darn about what anybody thinks about what you're wearing, to wear what you love because you're the person that has to wear it. And the only opinion that matters about what you are putting on your body is your own. That's my lesson for 2020. Actually, that's been the lesson for the last 20 years. Actually, all my life. I've kind of always worn what, what I was about to curse. The blood of Jesus. I was about to curse y'all. That's what I've always kind of thought. It's like, where would I want? Like, beat, beat, beat you, right? All right. Love you, we never pay retail. <laughs> to end on a high note, where would you love? All right. Where would you want? Love you, we never pay retail. Bye. All right. So we talked about the um, the labeling of the shoe. We saw this with the White House Black Market, how they actually stitched the label into the shoe. Jimmy Choo has the same. Okay, what you will notice about this is that the same amount of stitching on the bottom is the same amount of stitching on the top. A lot of times there are counterfeit Jimmy Choo, Louboutin, Manolo Blahniks out there. And a lot of times you can tell that it's not real because the symmetry of the stitching. Mm -hmm.